it's me again and welcome back to my channel to those new to this channel i'm Izwan. in this video i'm gonna talk about this newly released ciy gas 67 keyboard it's a predecessor to the famous ciy tester 68 mechanical keyboard the tester 68 is considered as one of the cheapest mechanical keyboard out there with a try mode offering However, this K67 only support wired mode. I bought this keyboard during the pre-order period from Taobao. It cost me for around 180 ringgit or 30 US dollar. It's a 65% layout gasket mounted keyboard with a blocker. This keyboard comes in an all-in-one kit, meaning all necessary hardware will be included, minus the keycaps and the switches. The kit comes in a brown box with the CIY logo on it. Let's dig into this and get this out of the way, shall we? You get all the basic stuff like the screw-in stabilizer. The steps housing and wire comes packaged nicely. There's also a step sticker pads included. I'm not really sure the manufacturer for these steps because there's no info about it on the webpage. Apart from the steps is made from palm material. But let's just assume the step is made by CIY. Here's a comparison between the stock stabilizer and after some mod. The steps in stock configuration are just hmm. But after some tuning, it did turn out pretty decent. I could have done a little better though. Then you get a bag of screw with an Allen key type screwdriver. And you get a matching color coil cable. Mine comes with a green coil cable matching the case. Nothing fancy, no aviator connector whatsoever, but it is still a nice touch to include this instead of a normal non braided USB cable. However, if I'm not mistaken, this coil cable is only given to the first 1000 buyer. Next is the PCB. There's nothing fancy when it comes to the PCB. Just some normal 65% PCB with a white colorway. Except this PCB uses a daughter board as a connection. And this is my first time seeing a keyboard in this price range using a daughter board. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. Because this will allow the PCB to move up and down freely which resulted in more flex when typing. However, the downside is, the PCB is not compatible with either VIA or QMK. You need to download the software provided by the CIY for further configuration and settings. Upon closer inspection, I've noticed that this board uses a CIY hot swap socket in a north facing configuration. It is not some normal Gateron or Kale hot swap socket which I normally see on other PCB. I'm not really sure whether it is a good sign or not. But for the price of this kit, I'm not surprised. What we do know is, the north facing socket which may or may not cause an interference with your cherry profile keycaps. There's also an on off switch on the PCB. After checking out the manual, which is written in Chinese and I have to google translate, I found out that the switch is for disabling the windows key and change it to the function key instead. It also comes with a necessary dampener. There's a plate dampener on mute silicone and a switch pads. The plate dampener is made from silicone. This reminds me a lot of KBD67 Lite and Ramaworks mute silicone which is also made from the same material. However, the mounting mechanism is different from those two. The GAS 67 uses a more traditional gasket mounting approach. And on top of it, the kit comes with a white IXPE switch foam for that marbly sound signature. As for the plates, this kit only offers a polycarbonate plate, at least for the time of this video is made. But the good thing is, this PC plate is one of my favorite type of plate. I love the sound coming from a PC plate and a nice soft bouncy typing feel it provided. Please note that this is just my personal preferences. Moving on, there's also a porong gasket provided, but sadly, the porong gasket provided is quite thin. It only has a 2mm thickness on it. 
However, it is sufficient enough to give that soft typing feel when key presses. Moving on to the case, it is made from ABS plastic. It comes with three variants to choose from, a black translucent, blue or purplish translucent, and a green translucent. Mine comes with a green translucent. The only branding on the board is located at the bottom of the case. And there's also a detail for downloading the driver from the website on the bottom of the case. Honestly, I kinda like the case. The only gripe is, this case has no metal inserts on the screw track. There are 4 rubber stickers provided to be used as a case fit. And at the bottom of the case, you can see a spot for a flip out case fit. The flip out case fit is to provide more elevation to those who prefer a steeper typing angle. Now it's time for a typing test. For this video, I'm using a budget linear switch, the KTT Kang White. And as for the keycaps, I'm using the classic GMK white on black keycaps. So here we go. My final thought is, this Gear 67 is not perfect, but yes, it does check many of the boxes. Apart from tuning the steps, the keyboards already sound decent with no extra mods needed. And I think, it is quite hard to find a good keyboard from the get-go with this price range. But please keep in mind, nowadays, there's always a new keyboard introduced into the market with the competitive pricing. However, it's always beneficial for us consumer. Again, with some minor drawback here and there, for the price, it is a yes if you ask me. I really recommend this Gas 67 if you are in the market for a budget gasket mounted keyboard. And again, this is just my personal preferences. Anyway, tell me what do you guys think in the comment section down below. And I'm Izwan, signing off. Ciao and Assalamualaikum.